Think of how many times I have sat in your seats hearing those same words. Now that I'm here, there's one thing I need to do. I'm going to have to take another one because Kendall definitely won't like that one. Now, on behalf of the class of 2021, I am proud to say we did it. It sure wasn't easy, but no one ever said it would be. All of those late nights of studying and cramming finally paid off. It feels like just yesterday, Elliot was nearly burning down the middle school with paper airplanes, and Jeremy was singing fireworks with tears running down his face. It's those little things that we will remember for years to come. Not the anatomy test we spent hours studying for, or how Ms. Sitzman taught us that all the gods was never 6.022 times 10 to the 25th power. These memories will last us a lifetime. Even though we will be parting ways in just a few short months, or even after today, these people will always be a part of us. Every laugh, every tear, every memory. And never will I forget the time Mr. Cochran and Ms. Cress ran down the hall expecting a fight in the bathroom when it was really just Kylie, Becca, and I complaining a little bit too loudly about the AP Falcon exam. Now who would have thought that these years could have flown by in the blink of an eye? Definitely not me. Never did I think I would say I would miss high school. But maybe it was just because high school wasn't just school for me. You probably wouldn't think that since I'm standing here today. It was the early morning practices that I dreaded until I didn't have any early morning practices to dread. It was seeing my friends every day and trying to hold in those laughs at all the wrong moments. It was the muted mics and FaceTimes during quarantine, wondering how the heck we were gonna learn anything over a phone. It was Maggie J reading Dr. Seuss to us and making us cry on our last day. As much as I wish for this day to come, I have always hated endings. The last day of summer, the end to a good Netflix show that you binge for hours on end, or the last moments of prom. We can't avoid endings, but we can make the most out of them. For all of us, today is one of those days, an end and a beginning, a goodbye and a hello. I'm gonna miss it, every bit of it. Well, maybe everything except Mr. Mock's 59 degree class shirt and pop quizzes. But like Winnie the Pooh said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? He couldn't have said it any better. So class of 2021, we did it. We left our mark on here to chills. Now let's make our mark on the world. Members of the school board, Superintendent Cherry, Principals Cochran and Cress, staff, family and friends, welcome. I'm Emily Patmore, one of the thankful valedictorians of the class of 2021. I'm standing in front of you today to tell you that I am not the same person that I was when I walked into Heritage Hills four years ago, but I am so thankful for that. I grew from a baby-faced, nerdy girl with braces on her teeth into a confident young woman with a desire to change the world. Yes, I might be a little bit, I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I might still be a little bit nerdy, but I discovered that that, is, that quality is a gift. Um, I've grown from the help and support that my family has given me, the words of encouragement and help on anything from math problems to muscle identification, thank you, Ms. Peters, um, that my teacher supplied, and the friendships and love that, that I received from all my friends I've made throughout the journey. I love these people. I remember being a sixth grader at Lincoln Trail and thinking just six more years, six more years and I'll graduate. Back then it seemed like a lifetime away, but standing here today, it seemed like I just blinked and the time was gone. We hadn't met all of our best friends yet or discovered what we wanted to do for the rest of our lives. We hadn't felt the victory of winning sectionals several times or discovered our curiosity for our favorite classes. We were so excited of the thought of growing up and we didn't even know that then how much fun it would be along the way. Now, here we are taking this next step in our lives and it is terrifying. Terrifyingly exciting, terrifyingly sad, terrifyingly everything. I love these people. Even though I never thought I would be sad on my graduation day, here I am, sad to leave these people that I've grown up with, this town that I grew up in, and the memories that I've made here. We're all moving to forwards towards new experiences and it's equally, equally as exhilarating as it is scary. Above all the emotions I'm feeling, the greatest ones are anticipation and excitement. Our foundation is complete and we're ready to move out into the world. 
I know that we are all capable of great things, and I mean it with my whole heart. One of us could cure cancer, or win a Super Bowl, or save someone's life, or write a best-selling novel. The possibilities are endless, and I know I can't wait to say, hey, I went to high school with them, as soon as one of us achieves something unbelievable. That day will come, I'm sure of it. Until then, I can't express how much gratitude I have for everyone in this amphitheater. Um, literally every single one of you. I don't know all of you, but I do know that you have all helped get these amazing people on the stage today in some way or another. I hope you feel proud. So thank you to the teachers, family members, parents, and loved ones. On behalf of every member of our graduating senior class, I thank you. And to all my people, my family, my teachers, and every person in my class, I thank you too for encouraging me, making me laugh, believing in me, being you and making me who I am. I believe in you too, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Thank you. Members of the school board, Superintendent Sherry, Principals Cochran and Cress, faculty, staff, family and friends, welcome. My name is Kyla Peter and I stand before you all today as one of the valedictorians of the graduating class of Heritage Hills. You guys don't know how long I've been waiting to say that. While deciding what I wanted to say today, I simply asked myself the question, if I was standing in front of my entire high school class for possibly the last time, what would I want to tell them? And the answer is a simple thank you. Thank you guys for being the best group partners, the best teammates, and the best friends. I am proud to say that behind me sit future engineers, construction workers, doctors, lawyers, nurses, data scientists, and so on. There is no doubt in my mind that everyone behind me will find success and meet goals that they have set for themselves. We are not only a high school class that has endured AP tests and finals, but also a pandemic. Sometimes we never knew who was going to be sitting next to us the next day in class or who would be missing a game due to a quarantine. With this being said, we have still managed to succeed this year in competitions and challenges being thrown at us. We have won sectional competitions, spell bowl competitions, and state beta and BPA competitions. This year, the class of 2021 has shown our true character through our, our grit and strength. I can confidently stand here and say I would not be giving this speech today if it weren't for some very important people. First of all, thank you again to my classmates who have stood by me and worked with me to understand all the material getting thrown at us. If it weren't for Quizlet's classrooms with big contributors like Quizlord Owen, I would don't know if I would have gotten through the year. Second, thank you to my friends who have shown me nothing but endless support for my goals and aspirations. Third, thank you teachers and staff for always being available to provide extra instruction if need be for my classmates and I. Last, thank you to my family for pushing me to be nothing but my very best. At the time, I might have been aggravated and frustrated with you. but I want to thank you for knowing my potential and never leaving my side. My fellow classmates, it's officially over. We have closed one door and opened another. Wherever you may end up, I wish you all nothing but the best. I will leave you with these words of wisdom from Dr. Seuss. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I can say for myself that my time at Heritage Hills is a memory that will live with me forever and has taught me endless life lessons. So thank you here to Chills for all the means and memories that the class of 2021 is officially out. At this time, I ask all faculty and staff members of the North Spencer County School Corporation, either on stage or in the audience, to please stand. In addition, if there are any retired staff members of the School Corporation present, would you please stand as well? 
Legendary UCLA coach and fellow Hoosier John Wooden often quoted a verse to illustrate what makes a good teacher. Neither written word nor spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on the shelves, it's what the teachers are themselves. Students of the class of 2021, together with your family and friends all, it is my great privilege to present you to the faculty and staff of North Spencer County School Corporation. They are bus drivers who take such great care in transporting their students between home and school. They are cooks who have prepared meals for students. They are administrators who provide the resources necessary to have schools. They are custodians who so diligently maintain clean and safe buildings in which learning can occur. They are guidance counselors who assist students in making best choices. They are nurses who lovingly care for their medical needs. They are classroom teachers and instructional assistants who encourage our students to continually seek understanding. They are secretaries who attend to so many details that make schools run smoothly. They are media and technology specialists who guide students in finding knowledge. No matter whom they are, and what their particular role is in the school, they have taught you by word and example. They stand before you, students of the class of 2021, as role models of dedication to learning as a lifelong enterprise. They stand among you as fellow citizens of our nation. They stand beside you to offer their support and guidance as you strive to become the best you can be. How fortunate our community is to have such a dedicated group of professionals teaching our young people the various ways they do. Let us show them now our appreciation for a job well done. And now it is time to recognize staff members who are retiring this year. Terry Brockman, Lincoln Trail Elementary, 27 years. <laughs> Kathy Hawkins, Heritage Hills High School, 22 years. <laughs> to these dedicated and caring staff members, we give thanks for their service to the children of our community, and we honor them with our applause.
School Board, Superintendent Sherry, Principals Cochran and Kress, faculty, staff, family, and friends, welcome. I would like to formally introduce myself as the first loser. You can laugh, it's okay, I'm kidding. Um, in all seriousness, it is an honor to be the salutatorian of this class. There are many people behind me who are even more deserving of this honor than I am, so if you would, please join me in giving them some recognition. There are so many brilliant minds sitting in the seats behind me who will go on to accomplish amazing things. And today I hope to offer them some words of encouragement as we close this chapter of our lives and move on to the next. This may come as a bit of a surprise today, but it has never been my goal to be the salutatorian in my class, nor has it ever been my goal to be the valedictorian. Instead, my goal was to work hard and be the best I could be. And I encourage every person in this room today to do the same. Not everyone in life can be number one or number two, but everyone can work as hard as they can to achieve their dreams. If you have a passion, pursue it. If you have a goal, work your absolute hardest and the accomplishments are sure to follow. Success is rarely ever given, it is earned. And sadly, it seems that in today's world, the value of hard work has faded. Regardless, there is no greater gratitude than hard work paying off. I'm sure many people in this room can agree with that statement. Whether you stayed after practice to perfect your game, stayed up late studying for a test, or drove to work after a long day of school to get home late and do it all over again the next day, you worked hard. And my hope today is that everyone in this room can say that they worked their hardest and their hard work paid off in some way, shape, or form. And that is something to be proud of. Because titles will never define who we are. But your work ethic, perseverance, and character will always be remembered. There is no doubt in my mind that the people behind me will be remembered. There are so many intelligent, hardworking people who will go on to accomplish incredible things. Wherever life takes you, enjoy every moment. Be kind to everyone you come into contact with and work hard, even when the odds are against you. Thank you.
Good afternoon. A Heritage Hills tradition is to identify the top 10 students of each graduating class. It is my pleasure to name those students today. Parents, we ask that you stand to be recognized when your child's name is announced. You may be seated when the next student's name is announced. Students, we ask that you stand to be recognized when your name is announced and remain standing until all the names have been read. Audience, we ask that you hold your applause until all the names have been read. Thank you. Neva Barnett, daughter of Jason Sarah Barnett, graduated with a GPA of 4.6. Neva will, Neva will be attending the University of Southern Indiana in Evansville, studying nursing. Emily Patmore, daughter of Jody Patmore and Kevin Patmore, graduated with a GPA of 4.6. Emily, Emily will be attending Butler University in Indianapolis, studying health sciences on a pre-med track. A spider decided to join me, sorry. He's no longer with us. <laughs> <coughs> Kyla Peter, daughter of Daryl and Lynn Peter, graduated with a GPA of 4.6. Kyla will be attending Indiana University in Bloomington, studying data science. Kenley Molzer, daughter of Ken and Danae Molzer, graduated with a GPA of 4.538. Kenley will be attending Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, studying biology and Spanish. Sarah Mangan, daughter of Mary Mangan and Neil Mangan, graduated with a GPA of 4.52. Sarah will be attending Butler University in Indianapolis studying health sciences. Grant Goble, son of Larry and Cammy Goble, graduated with a GPA of 4.48. Grant will be attending Purdue University in West Lafayette studying engineering. Christopher Peter, son of Dale and Lori Peter and Tom and Jill Ledbetter, graduated with a GPA of 4.471. Chris will be attending Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Terre Haute, studying, <coughs> excuse me, studying biomedical engineering. Kendall Jordan, daughter of Paul and Beth Jordan, graduated with a GPA of 4.469. Kendall will be attending Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, studying communication sciences and disorders and speech therapy. Eric Thomas, son of Israel and Tara Thomas, graduated with a GPA of 4.454. Eric will be attending the University of Southern Indiana in Evansville, studying mechanical engineering. Owen Rahman, son of Wayne and Julie Rahman, graduated with a GPA of 4.44. Owen will be attending Purdue University in West Lafayette, studying meteorology. Please give these students and parents a round of applause. coming to the part of the ceremony everybody's been waiting for. We ask that you don't celebrate too much when you hear your graduate's name. Remember, the family of the next graduate in line wants to enjoy their moment as well. I just told Mrs. Crest that there's a dead bug up here. I'm going to be upset with Mr. Conn. Mr. Cochran, it gives me great pleasure to accept the class of 2021 for graduation. The class of 2021, bless you all, you've been through a lot. While enduring the perils of the past 14 months, I've heard numerous expert opinions stating that this generation of graduates will be impacted academically, emotionally, financially, and socially by these circumstances. According to some of the more cynical members of our society, you have every reason to be without hope. I would like to take you back to a moment in my first commencement message as superintendent of the North Spencer County School Corporation. The date was May 28, 2011. The speech began, quote, just saying that date less than a month after the United States' announcement of Osama bin Laden had been brought to justice, gives me cause to reflect. I still vividly remember walking into school that cool, clear morning in September of 2001, roughly a year before those graduates were born. 
the sickening feeling in my gut that said, today, life for you and every American has changed forever, persisted through the coming months. I remember praying at church that evening, side by side with so many others who had similar fears. The nauseating image that my children, ages six, three, and four weeks, may never have the opportunities that I had envisioned them was nearly debilitating." End of quote. Although the current pandemic isn't confined to one climactic day or experience, its potentially debilitating presence parallels the 2001 tragedy. I share this personal scenario with you, not as a somber moment on this memorable day for our graduates, but as an example of the unquenchable hope and resiliency of the human spirit. Although there will never be life without challenges and struggles, the opportunities before you today are as great as they have ever been. You are embarking upon a journey that will last a lifetime. I would like to give you three instructions that will make your trip as successful as possible. I encourage you to one, train yourself in the art of contentment. Learn how to get along happily, whether you have much or little. Know how to live with almost nothing or with everything. You see, we are all equal and that we can still strive to become the best we are capable of becoming. We can always improve, but we should, we should never compare ourselves to others. We get in trouble when we start trying to measure up to someone else. Develop an appreciation for the things that last, such as family, faith, and friends. Number two, acquire a respect for work. You see, graduates, we were created to work. Therefore, let the words of King Solomon purportedly the wisest man who ever lived, ring true, today, ring true to you today. He is quoted as saying, I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. Number three, be passionate. A story has been told about Socrates holding a young apprentice's head underwater and later asking him, when you were underwater, what was the one thing you wanted more than anything else? I wanted air, replied the understudy. Then Socrates said, when you want knowledge and understanding as badly as you wanted air, you won't have to ask anyone to give it to you. I agree with legendary basketball coach John Wooden, who believes you should learn as if you're going to live forever but you ought to live as if you're going to die tomorrow. Graduates, you have a responsibility to our community, county, state, country, and world to use the training you receive at Heritage Hills High School to make a difference. Much has been invested in each of you. You hold the hope of the future. It is my sincerest hope today that the education you have received at Heritage Hills High School inspires you not to make a better life for yourselves, but that the world is better because of your life. As the prophet Jeremiah stated when speaking for God himself, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Brian Gelhausen President of the North Spencer County School Corporation Board of School Trustees for the presentation of diplomas.
napkins. Charbel Frey Alcantara. Jasmine June Allen. Kylie Rose Atman. Neva Grace Barnett. Jocelyn Renee Bateman. Colin Joseph Byer. Shalia K. Binge. Sherry Marie Binge. Craig Sean Birchler. Cody Miguel Bowling. Sindel Grace Bonifer Ellis. Mia Dion Boltinghouse. Aubrey Joe Brown. Jacob William Brown. Brendan Michael Bryant. Elliot Cole Beekline. Damon Cooper Butler. Andrea Leha Sital. Liam Diaz, Eugene Darling. Gavin Matthew Donhauer. Justin Tyler Decker. Joshua David Delamu. Trent Taylor Duncan. Lacey Dawn Eaton. Caden Xander Edge. Brandon Lee Fakes. Ethan John Fisher. Jackson Ray Birch. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Foltz. <laughs> Emily Ann Forston. <laughs> Graham Adams Gardner. David Scott Garman III. <laughs> Jacob Patrick Garrett. <laughs> Mallory Ann Garrison. <laughs> Grace Elizabeth Gasway. <laughs> Gabe Lewis Gogol. Grant James Gogol. Jake Everett Gogol. Robert Jeremy Gogol. Rebecca Lee Gordon. Trayton Lee Grolic. Isaiah Joseph Grippenstraw. <laughs> Jeremy Allen Gold. <laughs> Adam Michael Goof.
Dylan Paul Hagedorn. Joshua David Halverson. Abigail McFarland Harbottle. Elijah Thomas Harney. Jennifer Louise Harris. Kendra Jane Marie Hart. Caleb Henry Hayden. Trey Carl Heckel. Macy Ann Hemmings. Taylor Lane Henry. Trenton Ray Hill. Logan Tyler Hockenberry. Bailey Marie Huffman. Angie Diane Ibelo. Evan Porter Jackson. Dylan Michael Johnson. Jacob Jean Johnson. Adam Christopher Jones. Kendall Elise Jordan. Cynthia Louise Kaczynski. Billy Joe Kellums Jr. Kennedy Elise Keltner. Megan Nicole Kenny. Madison Alexis Clem. Julia K. Knox. Wyatt Samuel Koenig. Lillian Kim Coley. Logan William Kurkowski. Therese Marie Joveris. Cassidy Carolyn Lukey. Sarah Elizabeth Mangan. Rachel Ashton Martin. Oliver Martinez Caldillo. Adriana Marie Martinez. Kaylee Ann McClellan. Elizabeth Ann Maley. Jeremy Lee Merkley. Trinity Miller. Dalton Levi Mink. Jordan Alexander Mitchell. Kenley Dawn Molzer. Avery Campbell Neff. Garrett Bradley Nix. Jenna Nicole North. Haley Marie Osborne. Sophie Carlin Pate. Emily Anna Patmore. Alejandro.
Alejandro Perez. Christopher Brian Dieter. Kyla Lynette Dieter. Caleb Thomas Phelps. Josie Michelle Roth. Owen Ray Raman. Gracie Elizabeth Richards. Shaylin Noel Rickleman. Serena Ivy Robinson. Lindsay McKenna Rose. Abigail Lucille Ruxer. Lauren Michelle Sanders. Eduardo Sandoval. Seth Allen Schaefer. Braley Ann Schiff. Jacob Thomas Schmidt. Gina Marie Sinclair. Cassie Joyce Sipes. Blake Douglas Sisley. Jacob David Smith. Joshua Michael Smith. Madison Marie Smith. Olivia Ann Smith. Lane Colton Spencer. Nicholas Allen Sunderman. Aiden Charles Cessonera. Eric Isaiah Thomas. Zachary Pearson Tyndall. Lucas Michael Townsend. Lily Marie Vance. Blake Robert Wade. Emma Grace Wagner. Dylan Jacob Warren. Elizabeth Rose Williams. Catherine Ruby Winkler. Ethan Miguel Whitman. Leticia Yanez. And Shane Robert Zimmerman. Class of 2021, please stand.
to signify that you are graduates of Heritage Hills High School. Will you please turn your tassels from the right to the left at this time? It is now my honor to officially congratulate you as 2021 graduates of Heritage Hills High School and to honor you as the 49th graduating class. In closing, I would like to thank all of you for your attendance here today. Uh, please drive home safely. Have a very enjoyable celebration as we honor the newest graduates of Heritage Hills High School. I'd also like to give a special thanks to our maintenance staff for their uh, work and a lot of hours, hard work in uh, putting all of this together that you see behind us. Also the park staff and Mr. Stezik, Mark Stezik for uh, allowing us to use the venue here. That concludes the ceremony. Everyone be careful going home. <laughs>